Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform. Track six, Power, produced by London on the track. Uh, flat eight. Eight minus. Take me, baby. We're heating up again, folks. Uh, I ain't never cooled off on this side. Well, I guess I did. Nine minus back to a flat eight is cooling off, but it's my kind of cooling off. I still like it a lot, you know? Um, yeah. That song, like coming out of Best Friend into this, you know, this week, I forgot, like, the see. Se- I got chills. I literally was in the holy fam. Like, like the sequencing. Because it's just at- hit after hit after hit for me. That London beat comes oh. in. Oh. With that piano, okay? Wow. And we have talked wow. about our love yeah. for London on the track and his chemistry with Young Thug and Rich Homie Kwan yes. on the Rich Gang review. Mm-hmm. But I brought in some unreleased Young Thug. <laughs> The Bulls bag of uh, archival goodies. Just in time for the Halloween season. (laughs) There's going to be two more segments like this throughout the episode. When we get to a producer who has a significant amount of unreleased material with Doug. Unreleased and leaked and just non-album, basically, is my criteria. And I've got five from Doug. I got a top five from, you know, the uh, three producers I chose. Okay. To just highlight some of these leaks, because I think this is the tape to highlight the leaks. This is a tape that was compiled because of leaks. It was born of leaks, you know? Exactly. So we're going to go through um, producer-centric, though. Right. So this is going to be the only one I ask you to play in full. Okay. And not fade, because... I waited for this for so long. This is one of those like Instagram snippets that I just played on loop until we got the actual record. It never fully got released, released, but it leaked. And this is Yes Indeed, a.k.a. Big Old Blood, where you at some point on this song get Young Thug rapping triple time. Mm. Okay. And this is one of my all time favorite Young Thug songs. So play the whole record we'll come out and then we'll just play some snippets of the others got it here we go yes indeed big old blood you did yeah we got more range than michael joint and uh we ain't shot no jumper but we had shot a couple niggas you know you did Yeah, no doubt. Motherfucker, your click ain't talk when I catch on. Pop your head, y'all ain't no bugs. 
I'm a slow hit down like I'm on a model bus. And we control this town, but ain't no clown in us. Yeah, these niggas don't hate us, I see them frowning us. Meanwhile, these niggas bitches love being around us. Why? Hey, so, we gon' catch a couple bodies of these niggas. Think we sweet in these streets. I know I'm up for that bitch From the bottom to the top Come and buy a brand new wife Nigga, yes indeed Hey, uh. all <laughs> Did he that, not uh... just completely lose his mind on that second verse? Yeah, he... <laughs> He, it, it's what like it's like I was telling Oz Cohen. It pained me for him to be so dismissed by people, because it's like this guy has all of the technical ability of your favorite MCs plus more. Like, you know, is it not real hip hop to be able to to rap like that? And to be able to switch on a dime, start singing, and then slow your flow down, and then speed up beyond comprehension right you know and he's even doing that thing there's that that was that specific brand of thug singing where it sounds like he's gargling the words <laughs> you know i love it i love it i, I absolutely love it um, that's that's bill after hitting the ground when he sees the fiend for real <laughs> uh, whoo. yes it is yes indeed Um, Yes, indeed. So we got more. Uh, This is one with Rich Homie Kwan. It's called Dead On. I think it was supposed to be on Rich Gang Part 2, but we all know what happened there. There was that unofficial Rich Gang Part 2 that that came out that like leaked or whatever. Um, This might have been on that, but yeah, Dead On featuring uh, the group that that met its untimely demise, Rich Gang. Uh, Here we go. I fucked the quick and fat, then I went to bed on Look Let's y'all, they got a fat ass, it's a good little head on Can they talk behind my back, cause I know they scared of Yo, I ain't my flu nigga, but my shit be dead on, dead on, dead on Dead on, dead on, dead on Ran up on them country nigga, but I'm dead wrong Aiming at these fuck nigga, but you know I'm dead on Dead on, dead on Playing dead, but I'm dead on you. You not a blood, but you got red on you. And I watch my surroundings like the feds on me. I just got me some pants on the plane, I feel like an alien. Man, I'm so high up, I'm higher than every alien. Went from open mic to performing in the stadiums. Now all my shoes they sponsored by Margella Mason. Them. And I feel like I'm high up in the air. Then I went to bed on them. Let's y'all, they got a fat ass. It's a good little head on them. And they talk behind my back, cause I know they scared of them. Yo, I ain't my flu nigga, but my shit be dead on, dead on, dead on. That was dead on. Uh, I guess it was dead on arrival, cause it never arose, right? It didn't, but it's a good song, and that was a clean ass fade, my man. Oh, thank you, thank you. You know, uh, shout out to Classic Zencaster, you know? Helping me fade shit since twenty. It sounds like a fade that was done in post, but you did it live. That's crazy. I'm just, I know, right? <laughs> I'm, 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 yeah, you know. Anyway, <laughs> what do we have next here? We got uh, three more. Um, yeah, uh, next up is Money, uh, another one by London. Uh, right. Well, by Thug, produced by London, actually. All right, here we go. I think I know this song. Uh, I like this song. Here we go. I, 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 I just want the money, money, money. So she failed to maintain her lane I'm so priceless, I swear to God I can't complain 
no, 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 I can't. I woke up with a smiley face. Wish out to keep following like she down to play. I can't do my trouble with no fucking strays. But I can feel it in my heart. 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 You know, the vocals. Big anyway. time. His delivery reminds yeah. me of the song Brand New by Wayne, a leak from Wayne, actually. Oh, yeah. But similar to his idol in the amount of leaks <laughs> that have it. Yes. Um, yeah. I think that money well, came in the same pack like that bird song did. Anyway. Uh, there were so many packs, so many different yeah. ones. There's like, I got most of these, but I don't have like four of these. Right. And just the amount of leaks is just astounding yeah. but we got two more up next is beat it featuring the king of r&b jock lee Sackies, yeah okay uh yeah this is beat it uh check it out folks what you niggas say you nigga? oh how you nigga feel nigga i'm bloody it's a motherfucking death for me you did but I must tell y'all fuck niggas one thing, you dig what I'm saying? Uh, hey, hey. Nigga fucking hoes, I'm just telling you. And a nigga rocking shows, I'm just telling you. I'ma go and get that money like good fellas do. Yeah, I might eat it, it look edible. Something 540, baby, you're the edge of Oh, Ooh, he a gangster, he not scared of you. I'ma long stroke it, no beginner, boo. They said I couldn't sing on rap rankings. <laughs> All these years, I still haven't got the jockeys singing in the airport drop. Uh, uh, London and Thug is like... I think he's his best producer, man. I mean, I really think hands down, honestly. I yes. don't think it's even a debate. I agree. I've always agreed. Like, Slime they season, just to my knowledge, was originally supposed to be like all London beats. Uh, or they were supposed to have a project together where it was all London beats, and it never yeah. came out. That's a fucking shame. It really is a fucking shame, because they just... This God, guy yeah. locked in with DJ Carnage for a whole EP. Oh, yeah. We don't have on, the London the album yet. Or whatever. We got a song called The London. But he still yeah, hasn't locked in get... with London for a full album. You just unlocked him. When that song came out, I was like, okay, is this is he back with London? No. No, it's just a song called The Fucking London. <sighs> and we know what's going on with London. Like, it was some drama. Him and he was dating Summer Walker. And it's just like, he deserves so much more. You know? But anyway. Uh, last record here. It was Up, Up, and Away. Uh, featuring yeah, Kwan, featuring Kwan Rich Money Kwan. It's another of the the tour part two, you know, yeah. unreleased. Yes, album. All right, here we go. Yeah. Another day, boy. Another couple of dollars. Money with this power. Rich gang, nigga. My young niggas. Big money popping, boy. We got London on the train. Put that on blood, nigga. New drop, deep polo. This two seater ride solo. I got your baby mama with me. Got this bitch pointing at me. Tell the baby, come and get it. Hey, driving real fast, ain't in no lane. I ain't getting married, cause my whole plan. Fit fried, nigga, you the propane. I keep my mouth closed, yeah, I soak game. Oh, I see like cocaine. The cops come, we don't speak, we don't know names. Spend 30 on my wrist, yeah, that whole plan. Young nigga, kid, too. Pull him up a kid. Uh, I don't like 
Hey, say what? 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 Hey, say just a few leaks that kind of never found a home. And I'll continue to highlight some of those throughout the review. But this right. one right here, and we were talking about the effectiveness of the last hook. This is a catchy hook to me. Yeah, man. <laughs> you dig that? You know how I know that this was like an actual catchy hook? Like, so this, you know, leaked in 2015, came out officially on Slime Season. I believe it was either 2017 or 2018. And my brother's friend uh, showed up at the house in, in his truck and he was playing this. Mm-hmm. And I, and I, and like, you know, my heart fluttered. Cause I'm like, Oh, prime dog. He lives on amongst the youth. You know, they like him. They really like him. But like, I've heard the songs. It, it kind of feels like it's a bit of like a cult classic, at least a hood classic. It, it, I don't it, know. Like it's a cult. There's two true cult classics on this mixtape and neither one of them our best friend it's power (laughs) and draw down apparently nice nice well i approve of both of those records but um yeah this is i have to ask myself like is this song like maybe top 25 thug for me i like way more than 25 thugs on i had to ask myself because i I come back to this record pretty often this is disc two for me of the greatest greatest songs like it's not on disc one got it but yeah like, I'll almost rebuke its cult classic status and say he's got better songs on this tape and across the catalog, but I won't rebuke the fact that this is a highlight on the mixtape. And it, it could be it, top it is 10, for a number of reasons. It, it could be top 10 of uh, his songs with London, maybe. You Fuck know? no. Like, near enough. the bottom. Because London and not. him got so many if records. If we're including for me. Rich Gang stuff too, there's no way. You could be right. You could be right. And leaks, no way. All right. Well, it's it's a flat eight. I know that for sure. <laughs> it's for an A minus for me. I, I really I like this lie. record, but I I don't I, I don't love it as much as the fan base seems to. Well, that's a positive indictment of Young Thug, Dan. Like it, it's an eight minus for you, and you still wouldn't even put it on the first disc of like, you know? No, like, it's it's just two. It's definitely notable, you know? Yeah. It's, well, it belongs um, on a disc, let's say. But right. my disc one, it can't make my disc one. There's there's uh, too many flat eights, eight pluses, and maybe even nine minuses. You know, I'm not assuming we're talking about the standard 80-minute disc. It may not make my disc one either. It ain't making my disc one. It's making <laughs> but, my uh, disc two. Yeah, it's making a disc it's for sure, but... At this flat eight, I like it a lot. I, I just wrote London is fucking incredible. It's a soothing listening. beat, I find. Like, it's a very catchy chorus. Perhaps the catchiest so far on this whole tape. Mm-hmm. We're only six tracks in, but, you know, it's it's setting a new standard for hooks. I really like Thug on here. I mean, I I don't have very, very many notes as to why an eight minus other than there's something slightly muted about it. It's kind of down tempo in a way. It is. It's a down tempo record. It, it kind of makes me feel depressed a little bit, but I still oh, really like it. it. You know, the opposite for me, you said soothing. London has that quality about his beats. It's those those bass lines are always so clean and warm to me. They They feel like angel hugs. Like really, they do. Like he, his way with the baseline. Like the song, keep it going. You know the tour review out now on Patreon. That was the first song where it made like, who is this guy? Who produced this? And why does he sound so good with Young Thug? There's something that was the sad song. about the chords to me, though. I, I feel you. They're not major key. <laughs> they aren't. But like maybe I'm just emo male. I don't know. It, this comforts me. This beat. It always. Oh, I, I think it is too, but it's kind of a, a a lonely sounding beat. Yeah, I hear it. I hear the loneliness. There's like you know he's got those scents. What the London what London does is he has that bass that's very warm and fills up your chest. But he'll have these like 
I'm not using I'm not using that word. I'm gonna no. Where's the fucking? I'll, I'll pull up the thesaurus right there. He's got the ethereal ready. To no, go. I'm not using it. No, I need synonym. Those okay, airy. Those airy sort of sense. Okay. Yeah, that that may it's air. It's more airy than it is ethereal. Anyway, I would say. Yeah, you know, ethereal is uh like dream on Barter Six. That's an ethereal beat to me. But uh, yeah, this is very airy. Um, I said this is music. I could cry, but I didn't because that'd be now we just crying. I did not cry. Um, but yeah, the hook is like you it's, like you said. It's no, catchy. it's not. Now we just crying. I'm saying there's something kind of like sad about it. Oh yeah, like, move this. <laughs> Now we might be crying. We might not just be crying. We might be crying. Okay. Well, all right. I respect it. I mean, not my, my brain's kind of warped, so I have to take you know, your word like, for it. There's nothing in the lyrics that's like, oh, man, this is really sad. But, like, I could see another artist taking this beat in a direction that could be a sad record. Right. Yeah, I'm just, I'm having fun, you know. Um, Bitch, no, I make I'm, it rain, sir. You I, I just that. had a, okay. like a flashback to Rod Wave again. Oh, no, he's, no, 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 don't bring him back. He's nowhere near this, okay? He he ain't, he ain't thug, all right? No, I was just thinking of him being on this beat and expressing his pain and, <sighs> you know, what he remembers. You might just give me indigestion. <laughs> like, the, you might have just given me indigestion with that. Oh my god. God. I wish I was kidding. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Pepto's in the car. Alright. I think I'll be alright. Jesus Christ. He makes me sick, literally. I don't ever want to hear him again. Um uh, uh what else happens? Uh yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, it's it's cooling down. All right, it's. I didn't even like eat it. I ate some cheese today. That's what this is. I ate that cheese. I got to give up the dairy. I just it's it's. I can't do it anymore. Okay, uh, hit hit him with that block of block and nigga get back. Um, he's doing prime ad libs on here when he's like, uh, you know, sheesh. sheesh. It's for my vision. This, this is acting one. like a brat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is one where verse two blows verse one away for me. Oh, oh, for sure, for sure. Verse down two down to is, just the opening line, bitch. I dig it. I keep. I, I eat ice cream ice with cream my chicken. My chicken. <laughs> you, you know me. I'm currently suffering from indigestion, but bitch, I'm rich like a Simmons. Not, not little diggy. <laughs> not little diggy. <laughs> if I got legs, but you know, I'm gonna get it. She got good head, so she welcomes to my bit, 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 bit. <laughs> Whatever you said, it was amazing. It was amazing stuff. Um, I do, I, I do like the end of verse one though. Uh, maybe, maybe this doesn't work for some people. Um, I always like she make a nigga say what? Okay, <laughs> like, that's just great because usually that's the ad way, but that was like the verse or the the bar. Uh, but she suck like eight dicks. I call her Octagon. Okay, that's funny. That's funny to me. Maybe not to anyone else. But it's funny it's to me. as a closing line. It's not like it doesn't. <laughs> to me, a closing line is the one that stays with you the most. Okay. And it's a bit of an anticlimactic closing line. Eh, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, I like it a lot. It it it's a cold classic. I think. You know, I mean, and, uh, I like the hook too because it kind of charts Fifty Cent's rise as an entrepreneur. Oh you know, my God. first you get that money, get rich or die trying, then you get that power, you become a television showrunner. <sighs> okay. It's the story of Fifty, you know. If you say so, yeah. And but... the fact that Atlanta recognizes, you know, the general—that's that's something. I mean, it shows his reach. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. Uh, you want to move on? No, oh, fuck it. Why not? All right. Shout out to 50 Cent. Also, Let's check out this music way video. Very, very in, the, uh, in the slimy uh, season, you know? Oh, yeah. Slime season. You know, snakes and all that. Uh, 
snakes and all that. Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform.